Sunday will be good. I'm going to go to a man. No, no, no. We see what I can't do. From allegation of $300 million plus over the betrayal of the Ibus to the shocking controversy surrounding his delayed burial, the story is filled with twists, truth, and lies. Stay tuned as we uncover the untold details that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about Ifan Yoba before and after his death. It's countless, I must say. The big question now is why are there so much bad tax against Ifan Yoba even up to this moment? On this video, we'll be explaining and exposing all the lies told against Ifan Yoba before and after his death and how his children may likely inherit this hatred despite all his goodwill in other part of his life. To ride on, please do like and subscribe and also share. Before we can go deep into these lies, let's start with the genesis of what Ifan Yoba passed through. No doubt, the life and career of Senator Ifan Yoba, a prominent businessman turned a politician, were marked by significant achievements but also by controversies, especially those tied to his alleged betrayal of Namde Okanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. These allegations combined with his polarizing political decisions led to deep-seated animosity from some Igbo fractions, controversies around his death and even misinformation surrounding his burial. By the end of this video, we'll be explaining the detailed look at the saga. First of all, how did this all begin? The alleged betrayer of Namde Kanu. The controversy between Ifan Yoba and IPOP began in 2021 after Namde Kanu arrest in Kenya and subsequent extradition to Nigeria. Reports emerged claiming that the private jet used to transport Kanu to Nigeria allegedly belonged to Ifan Yoba. The claim sparked outrage among IPOP members and Kanu supporters who labelled Oba a traitor to the Igbos. They believed that he played a role in Kanu's rendition, accusing him of aiding the Nigerian government in silencing the pro Biafran leader. Although Ifan Yoba, in one or two ways, tried to address this allegation, the rumor persisted, leading to resentment among a section of Igbo people. <laughs> The incident deeply paralyzing public opinion with some seeing Oba as a pragmatic leader who prioritized national unity, while others viewed him as a betrayer of Igbo nationalism. Talking on the hate campaign and IPOP response over the allegation of his betrayer, it led to a sustained hate campaign against Ifan Yoba. He became the subject of inflammatory narrative in pro IPOP social media cycles, with claims that he had consistently undermined Igbo interest. IPOP, however, distanced itself from directly targeting Oba, though its members often criticize his political affiliations and decisions. The group spokesman, Ima Powerful, at one point clarified that IPOP's grievance were with those who orchestrated Kanu's arrest, emphasizing that they had definitive information on the true culprits. Despite this clarification, many IPOP sympathizers continued to hold Obas accountable and this animosity persisted until his death. Talking on the death and the funeral controversy, when Ifan Yoba passed away in July 2024 in London, his death did little thing to end the controversy surrounding him. Instead, it gave rise to a new rumor and debate, particularly regarding the delay in the burial and handling of his remains. For about two to three months of his death, there was no sign of funeral date for Oba, leading to widespread of speculation. A viral WhatsApp voice note circulated alleging that IPOP had threatened to disrupt his burial, citing the lingering anonymity over Kano's extradition. This rumor further fanned the flames of controversy. IPOP, through its spokesman, denied any involvement they had stated that the delay is purely a matter of cultural and traditional considerations within Oba's hometown of Newi and had nothing to do with Namde Kano or IPOP. Fast forwarded to two months later, in September 2024, photos surfaced showing Oba's body being removed from the cargo section of the plane. The image sparked outrage and debate online, with many questioning why a man of his wealth and stature would be transported in such a manner. Critics seized the moment to highlight perceived contradiction in his life, juxtaposing his immense wealth with the simplicity of his final journey. Talking on the lies and misinformation about Ifan Oba, I must say the controversies surrounding Oba's death were fueled by a mix of genuine grievances, cultural taboos, and outright misinformation. 
First narratives were spreaded, including claims that IPOP had outrightly rejected Oba's barrier in Igbo land. Another is the allegation that traditional leaders in Newe had imposed sanctions on his barrier. And thirdly is the accusation that Oba family was intentionally delaying the barrier due to the internal dispute. Many of these claims were later debunked, but the damage to Oba's reputation still on persisting by the constant accusation that he was the cause to the detainment and arrest of Nambekan. But anyway, despite the controversy, Sifan Oba's legacy remains a complex one. On one hand, he was a successful businessman and a politician who contributed to Nigeria's economy and political landscape. On the other hand, his passive closeness to the Nigerian government and the lingering allegation of betrayal alienated him from parts of his Igbo base. The controversy surrounding his barrier serves as a reminder of the complexities of Nigerian politics, where personal, ethnic, and political rivalries often intersect, leaving behind a legacy that is polarizing as it is impactful. In conclusion, as the barrier date of November 22, 2024 approaches, the controversy surrounding Fanny Oba's life and death continue to dominate public discourse. While some mourn the loss of visionary leader, others view his story as a cautionary tale about the cause of political ambition in a deeply divided society. What's your take about Fanny Oba's legacy? Was he misunderstood or did he truly betray the Igbos? Share your thoughts in the comment box below and don't forget to like and share for more insightful breakdowns of Nigerian most talked about events. For now, I will say bye.